putting protection around you as well. So all of these things are important. And, you know, there's a lot of negative energies coming after you all the time. So burning things that kick negative energy out to create protect, protective shields is all very, very important in your life as well. And uh, this is covered in our basic uh, course as well. Our traditional sorcery course goes into all this, tells you how to use all the formulas. And, of course, we make all the formulas so you can get the real authentic stuff that works. The problem is with just getting anybody's formulas is that um, we don't know what they're really putting into it. And um, they don't really have the research behind them. Well, we've researched this stuff, which are classic formulas, uh, now for over 40 years. So uh, we know what works. These work wonderful. Everybody gets great results with these. Uh, we've never had a problem. Everything works. Now, um, so you have those kind of things uh, to use um, to make sure that you're filling your environment with that. You can also use other things to protect your environment. Uh, our tube uh, 7.8 amplifiers, or I should say projector. They project out 7.8 beautiful, pure energies in your environment. And of course, you can only do that with a tube, not with a frequency generator. Tubes create a certain type of perfect frequency. And of course, this is important when you're trying to handle, um, if you want to manifest in general, and if you want to make sure you're manifesting energy in your house is pure to keep out negative spirit. So that's exactly what you want to do with all that. So these are the type of things that you can do. So it depends on the problem and it depends on your personal problem. There are many different formulas you can use uh, and you would have to study the course a wee bit. There's Van Van. This is a classic positive spirit drawer. So if you're having negative spirit problems, well, maybe you ought to burn a little Van Van. This will bring in positive spirits. This is a classic formula used by voodoo practitioners for hundreds of years. And uh, so there's lots of ways of doing it and filling your environment. Of course, uh, these formulas can be used for anything. No matter what your life is, you can use some of these formulas for that. Uh, if you want to draw money, if you want to get greater gambling success, if you want to uncross yourself, there's uncrossing incense, there's uncrossing oils. So this is another way to do things, which is very simple. And I did these things for 20, 30 years. I still continue all this. So actually, I've never really stopped. Uh, I do this all the time. I do all my radionic stuff, and I also light a bunch of candles with oils on it, burn incense, and, and other things. Uh, these are the kind of things that, you know, uh, are so physical, and we like physical stuff. It's so hard to deal with, you know, energy discs. Well, it looks pretty, but is anything happening? What do you think, dumb guy? But the whole idea is that um, if it's not physical, it's hard to wrap your mind around it. And we all know that from the dumb, yeah, I don't see nothing happening here. It's pretty. What's going on? I like stuff that burns. So the whole idea is that these kind of things uh, are there. And of course, there is a certain physicality to that and so forth. But uh, my philosophy is do everything, particularly uh, nothing in life is magic lamp based where it happens instantly. So what you're going to have to do is um, you're going to have to use the physical burning using oils, which are not really physical because you're, you're using energies. And of course, you're going to use the pure energetic, uh, which is the key to everything. Once we hone this system even further, it works extremely well now, but we want to really make it as powerful powerful as possible. Then you move into all these things. You move into some sort of basic radionic machine. You get cells or uh, mech tech or uh, manifesting energy cells. Well, these are all amazing stuff that works fantastic. And uh, we've been using these, these mech tech systems uh, for five, six years now with fantastic success. So that's the reality of it, of how you handle those things. Simple things you can do that cost you nothing. And I always like to kind of add this, you know, life is tough. And maybe people don't have much money, uh, what you can do is put jars of salt out. I like Himalayan salt. Uh, I'm not too crazy about sea salt anymore because the sea is a sewer and I'm not sure that we should, you shouldn't be bathing in it or anything. I just don't trust anything from uh, the sea anymore. So the whole idea is that, but you can put a jar of sea salt out there. Usually you leave the top off. Uh, this can be a baby food jar, larger jar. I mean, sea salt is pretty cheap, so you put a big jar of that in your bedroom. It doesn't have to be all that prominent. You could put it under your bed. I have jars all over my house all like this. Uh, jars in the kitchen, jars in the living room, jars in the bedroom. I mean, it's cheap. And then you dump these out about every uh, month. 
The other thing you can do is burn sea salt, and you want to get the granule salt. Of course, salt, salt doesn't burn. I, I, I do understand that. Boy, you're a dumb guy. So the whole idea, but what you're doing is releasing the purification of salt, which is always a great symbol of purification and preserving. And what you do is you pour sea salt in a metal container, usually with a handle on it. Um, and then you pour rubbing alcohol or alcohol on it of whatever nature, depending on where you come from. Americans call it rubbing alcohol, which is usually used uh, in medical care to wipe off cuts and so forth. You pour that on top of that. You don't need to use a lot of it again. You can use a small metal container. Uh, but remember, that container is going to get very hot, so you either have to have it on a safe plate or a handle on it, and then you pour it in there, and then you light it. And this is a way to check spirit activity and a way to get rid of them. Uh, you light it, the flame goes up. It's kind of like um, if you go to a, quote, fancy restaurant and have a dessert uh, that they light. You can't think of what they are now, haven't done that many, many years, uh, but they, they pour alcohol on there, whether it's uh, cherries or bananas or whatever it is as a dessert, and it flares up, Woo! and it's contained in a metal uh, bowl, so there's no problem and safety. Of course, be careful, you're using fire, you're using things on, be careful, don't be a dummy, So, or you'll end up as a puppet. So the whole idea is that uh, you have to do that, and that will, of course, uh, bring uh, you, the spirits. It will kick them out. Now, it doesn't last a long time, but spirits hate that release of salt energy, and you will kick them out, uh, depending on your problem, for many hours, days, or even a week. And it's just as simple as that, and you can repeat this. And I generally carry this thing that's burning because I get one that usually has a handle on it, a good wood handle as the thing. Uh, many of these things have been used with uh, coffee pot type things that so has a handle on it, or in general, a pot that you put on the stove that has a handle that doesn't get hot. Uh, and you can carry this from room to room um, to kick out particular spirits because they may be in one area or another. Uh, you do the same thing by using incense, by going from one room to the other, carrying the incense, or at least placing the incense there as well. And again, you've got fire, you've got smoke, and uh, you have to be careful, obviously. So those are some of the ways of handling keeping negative energies out, and one that is very inexpensive by using salt. And these are great ways to handle negativity in your house. And a lot of times, it's a good idea not to do things after you have a problem. Do it ahead of time. Keep your energy in your home. Have a 7.8 uh, tube amp generator going in your home, uh, purifying it. Uh, these are all the things. You know, a little prevention is worth a fortune. Keep the negative energies out. Live a energetic life. And by understanding the energetics of life, your life goes very smooth. You keep the negative energies out that mess up your life, make you sick, make you mentally ill, make you fat, make you delusional, make you believe in comic book gods. All that stuff uh, can be uh, taken out of your life by moving ahead in the proper aspect. Uh, by doing these little things, learning how to do it. They're very simple. And ultimately, once you get a little stock of things, they're not really very expensive at all. Matter of fact, it's very cheap for a lot of peace of mind. But, you know, it's like everything else. You buy cleaner to take care of your floor. Do you vacuum your floors? Do you buy a vacuum? Well, I mean, you got to take care of your life energetically. If you don't do that, you're foolish. Life is not this physical meat puppet. Life is a energetic reality because that's where everything comes from and you need to deal with that. So hopefully it's been clear as usual, people. Um, I offer free psychic readings in terms of I check your energies. I'm always happy to do that. And if you need some sort of assistance, you can contact me as well and I can further assist you. And we're going to try and put together, as I said, a whole package of stuff like this uh, to kick spirits out, to protect your home. We have one now for uncrossing. I think we're going to uh, make a similar kit for uh, spirit protection uh, and uh, so many other areas that everybody can do. A whole little of the traditional alchemical kits uh, that have been proven for thousands of years to work very efficiently and are easy to do. And that means you don't necessarily have to get yourself a machine right away. But, you know, you should have both. You should be doing both practices as I do. This ensures things. And we're trying to move over to um, doing everything in subtle energy physics machine type things um, so that um, um, 
it's uh, more modern and we can vary things. Uh, but the tried and true old stuff uh, is something that everybody seems to get results from and everybody likes. And these are things that you can build up supplies of uh, over time and uh, be able to uh, have these things in case of emergency or in case you need something. So all of that is very critical to your life and how things progress. And as again, if you have any situations, problems, or questions, feel free to contact me. Now, you have a question in mind? Think of something. The question. And now you will get the answer. Faith has other ideas. Ooh, faith has other ideas. Fate. Hmm. Think about that, grasshoppers. <laughs>